First things first, that rooster next door is killing my life. So welcome everyone to a day where I take you along with me and you get to see everything I do for a day and it's going to include eating, training and yeah, plenty of stuff to do. So first things first, that rooster next door is killing my life. But first things first, I wanted to give you guys an update on my current macros. So a little disclaimer, they are low. And the reason being guys is I've been dieting now for roughly 36 weeks. So when I started this diet, that rooster, when I started this diet, my calories were well above 3000 and I was consuming plenty of food, but guys, you know, I, you cannot sustain a calorie deficit on the same amount of calories for that amount of time. So my calories have gradually come down over 36 weeks and you know, 36 weeks is, you know, a long time. We're talking, you know, six to eight months or eight might, no, eight months. Yeah. Eight months to nine months. So, you know, for me to expect my calories to not move off 3000 guys, I know, you know, you say it's really, really low, but it's, you know, hundred percent necessary and I can only work with my body. And if my body is going to lose weight at that low calories, then I have to play with the cards I'm dealt. So that's where I'm at. So my macros today are, here we go, 205 protein. 150 carb and 35 fat. So I'm sitting out here just getting ready to go to the gym. It's roughly what time? It's roughly 7:41, and I'm having breakfast, something little and light before I get to the gym. So take a look at that. So all that is is 100 grams of frozen strawberries, 100 grams of banana, some. Walden Farms caramel sauce and some Walden Farms chocolate dip. So, Walden Farms definitely gonna help me through this cut. I feel good, you know. I'm still weighing in at a low weight, so you know I'm relatively happy. We're looking, I'm looking around 75 to 76. The aim for me is to get down to about 73 to 74. And I have, you know, I'll probably end up dining till the end of June till I go away to my Europe trip. So. Let's get this food down and head over to the gym. And yeah, we've got a couple things to do today. I have to, what do I have to do today? I have to edit some videos. I have to get some cooking done for work. And we'll see as the day goes, but I'm sure I've got plenty of things to do. So stay tuned and yeah, let's get this food down and head over to the gym. We're gonna do some rack pulls today. So you're gonna change it up. So enjoy. So really quick before I head to the gym, I'm gonna make two, I guess, snacks. So when I get home, I can have them. So I'll show you what I'm making. All right, so you would have seen these in another video. So what I'm making here is my protein ice cream. So I've got cookies and cream protein, and I've got a scoop and a half in there. So all I'm gonna do is throw this out, and I'm just gonna to top the bowl up with almond milk. So. And then what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna throw this in the freezer. So we've got 360 grams of almond milk. I'm gonna stir that in. Over here, I've got strawberry and lime jelly. Packets are here. Gonna pour them into there. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna pour in about five or 600 mils of boiling water. And basically almost fill it, almost, almost to the top. 550 mils of cold water. So I'm gonna stir that through, stir that protein ice cream through, chuck them in the freezer, and they're gonna be my meals when I get home from the gym. So I'll probably be at the gym for about I'd say probably about two hours, probably a bit longer. I've got cardio to do as well. So that's gonna be the meal when I get back. I'll show you what they look like later. 
So leaving the house, heading over to the car to get over to the bloody gym. It's like 10 past 8, quarter past 8. Check out the car, sun beaming down on it. Oh yeah, got a wash yesterday so she's looking in top form. So gonna get ready, head over to the gym and then yeah, get my day started. Look at that sun, beautiful day. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the gym. Such a nice day. Oh. Heading to the gym. In style? She gonna follow my lead. Simon says, paper, paper, I'm riding strapers in California. Car smell like ammonia, we got this thing on us. Never been that out. Really looking forward to lifting today. It's crusher. It's crusher. Tatted like a Mexican. So what's going on guys, just heading in for the voiceover for this workout. So I decided not to hit the deadlifts today and decided to get back into a few rack pulls just to help increase, you know, the, the speed coming off the ground and just trying to, you know, improve my lockout as well. So I decided to hit the rack pulls. First set was 140 kilos. I actually did two sets of that. So I did that for about five to six reps. Then moved over to the 160 kilos. So started with the 140, then did the 160. And you know, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that my deadlift is usually 160 kilos to 170 at max. So I tried to do more. So I put four plates on and the four plates went up. So I'm really happy that the four plates went up. I'm not able to deadlift this weight just yet, but I managed to get two reps and this third one wouldn't budge. So, you know, really happy. Drop the weight back down to 160 and just smash that a couple more. So, you know, getting the full squeeze, full range of motion. And yeah, really enjoyed back in the day doing these. So I really want to start incorporating them. They're not in my program yet, but, you know, hopefully I can maybe start adding them maybe as, you know, my own little workout that I can, you know, try and increase my deadlift, I guess. So after that, moved into another compound. So moved into the T-bar rows just really trying to squeeze the back and really focus on pulling that all the way up. So I've only got about 80 kilos on the bar here and just pulling it for about 10 to 12 reps. So these feel really good on my back. I'm not a fan of the bar that I'm using to actually put it up. My gym doesn't have a V bar. It used to, I have no idea where it's gone, but it's not there. So did a couple of these and moved into some other accessory stuff after this. So just did some basic one hand rows and did these lat pull downs that you'll see now. And after the lat pull downs, I moved in and did some bicep work. So did some bicep curls and finished off with the preachers. So overall guys, the back workout went really well, finished off with a strong pump in the back, loved it and then did my 450 calories of cardio. So what you're gonna see coming up now, guys, I decided for the first time in a very long time that I'm gonna try a bit of posing in the gym while I got the camera. The gym, there was a couple people, but nothing too crazy. So as you can see, that's my lat spread. So I'm just hitting the mandatories, I guess. And my legs look really good here and my lat spread's coming up nicely, getting pretty vascular. Um, here you see my side, so my calf comes up nice. You can see my hamstring separation coming in. Bicep looks okay. Maybe I should have got the shot a bit closer, but you know, I've got a lot of vascularity in my arms coming up. So my tricep looks, you know, relatively good. Maybe I'll do, I should do a proper topless one, but yeah, there was people in the gym, so I'm not gonna go one around posing topless just yet. But yeah, there's my side tricep. Hit the front lat spread one more time. Legs are good and just hit the front double bicep. One thing I'm definitely gonna work on in my next bulk is my arms. I wanna try and grow my biceps. Not happy with the size, so try and grow those. So there's my triceps from the back look really good. My relat spread I think looks okay. Lats do look quite wide, which I like. Back double by looks good. Uh, shoulders looking okay. So yeah, overall really happy. So today's weather is supposed to get to about 38 degrees Celsius. So 
If you want to Google that, it's absolutely hot. I can feel the heat on my back. And I don't know if you know me, but I need to stay out of the sun because my skin is so white that I just burn like that. So I get two minutes in the sun and I'm already red. I start peeling and yeah, it's crazy. So the workout went really well today, guys. I decided to hit the rack pulls and really happy, you know. Um, I haven't done rack pulls in a long time. I used to be able to move more weight, but I was a lot heavier. But I think it will help me. I, I managed to pull the four plate. So I can't pull a four plate deadlift, but I can pull the four plate rack pull. Obviously the rack pull is a lot easier. It's not on the ground, but I think that will help you know that with that sticking point and getting the lockout so I found in the past that rack pulling helped my deadlift a lot so we'll keep trying and then I did some t-bar rows and the bar I don't like the bar that I use for the t-bar rows but they don't have the v-bar at the gym so I've got to do with you know what I got and then I did other back workouts what are you looking at <laughs> so yeah that's about it guys so the workout and then I moved into some rows did some arm curls and you know got a crazy pump veins were popping out of everywhere so you know getting leaner which is good and now I'm gonna enjoy my don't know if you can see that let me switch this around I'm gonna enjoy my oh that just went everywhere I'm gonna enjoy my protein ice cream chilling with my little buddy Roxy enjoying the sun and gotta go tra train a client soon start editing this video and I'll check in with you guys really soon all right guys gonna crush this I got a salad here which is about 350 grams of lettuce about 80 grams of tomato I'm gonna add 25 grams of this light cheese Got 100 grams of deli ham, got a barley wrap there. Gonna top this off with a little bit of Cholula. Let's put it together. And that's it. Topped it off with a bit of white vinegar. That's the salad there. Gonna take it down with the wrap. All right guys, so I showered, looking fresh, looking nice and cut from shaving my neck. But hey, what can you do? I am craving this so bad, but you know what? I'm not gonna even consider it. You know, being on the macros I'm on now, if I was to go and eat that, you know, that's that's like a, a whole meal. 20 grams of protein and 25 grams of carbs just for a protein bar. Like, you know, in general, that's pretty good macros, you know, a lot of fiber. But for me to go and have something like that, it would just be, you know, in a word, you know, counterproductive. It would just make me hungrier because that thing would go down in two seconds. I know I've shown you guys my stack here before, but this is my old MTS Clash. When um, I actually picked it up when Mark Lobliner came out to Australia. So I'll show you really quick because I met him and I got him to sign up for me. So check that out. It's not a game. So I got a photo with him on my Facebook. And I remember when I met him, uh, first thing I said to him was, Tell me it's not a game. And he just looked at me and he went, dude, it's definitely not a game. And the way he said it, it was just so motivating. Like, it just felt really good to, to you know, meet someone that you see basically online. Like, I never, I feel like sometimes, you know, I may never get to meet the, uh, you know, big name YouTubers because they're all, you know, they're all mostly in the US, the UK, you know. And I, I don't think there's many big uh, Australian YouTubers out there so yeah I don't know it's just uh, yeah, it was a really good feeling and it was funny because um, I had my snap back on backwards and so did he so when I met him it was almost looked like you know his child or something it was, it was really good to meet him so yeah looking forward to meeting a few more famous faces at the Arnold so yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna head into the car Black was probably not the best color to wear since it's like scorching hot weather outside, but see how we go. Got the fan blasting, does nothing. Need aircon in this house. Should I complain to my parents? They'll probably tell me you should be leaving by now. So I can't win, but you know, that's what you do. So I'm gonna put up with the heat. So let's get ready. Look at that. I just said I gotta put up with the heat. 
and I see my heat hat. Hmm. It's the universe talking to me. All right, now I'm just rambling. I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys. So I just got home. I was actually gonna stop off at like a petrol station or something, or like a little supermarket, and grab a monster. But it's really hot, so I've got a better idea. And yeah, I'm gonna need caffeine because I get so. Uh, I'm not addicted, but when you're used to having it, I'm used to having it Monday to Friday for work, being an office worker. So, you know, I, will, I need my caffeine shot. So, I was gonna get the Monster, but I'm gonna make something different. So, I'll show you what I'm gonna put together. All right, so my homemade caffeine hit involves vanilla, instant coffee, ground cinnamon, Baldwin Farms, caramel syrup, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and some stevia. So, I'll show you what we're gonna put together. Strong vascularity. <laughs> All right, so, I'm gonna need the scale, because I do need to weigh out my almond milk, because it's fats, so I'm gonna put in All right, so put a touch of water. All right, so guys, for me, it's all about volume. And I could go drink a Monster and it'll take me like two seconds. But here, I've made my own iced coffee, which I'm gonna practically eat like, like a Slurpee sort of thing. But it's really, really thick, so. Really thick. So, see that? So, oh man, nice caramel taste. I can taste the vanilla from the coffee. So, I can enjoy a snack like that, you know, for what? 25 calories? Just from the almond milk. That's the only thing that has calories in this is the almond milk. So, the macros are gonna be like one gram of fat and half a gram of carb. And I've got a whole container full of awesome tasting coffee. All right guys, so that's getting cooked up for work. So what I'm gonna have now is I got a bowl of 50 grams of oatmeal that's already been warmed up with water and I'm gonna add in 80 grams of frozen banana and I'm gonna add in 100 grams of strawberries. So that's it right there. Steaming oatmeal with cinnamon, banana, strawberry and a little, little bit of strawberry Walden Farm syrup. So that's it guys, I'm gonna get that down. So I've still got my main calories, I've got a bunch of protein left, so I've got a bigger meal that I'm gonna have tonight, so I'll show you that one a little bit later. It's currently 4 p.m. in 24 hour time, so it's not 4 a.m., so don't worry, because <laughs> I know you guys hate on me training early, but I love it, so yeah. And the Sunday is going crazy in the background, and food's cooking for work, so I'm gonna prep my meals for work, and I'll show you what that uh, looks like when it's all done and ready for work and then I'll show you my meal a bit later. Doing some editing as well. So, day's going well. I'll catch you guys soon. So that's the prep for work, guys. I've got to put veggies in there. So, in here, I've got chicken, potato, ricotta, and vegetables on top. And I topped it off with some Tabasco sauce, and I've got some no sugar added barbecue sauce in there. And yeah, you're probably gonna go, oh, he copied the ricotta from Travis. 
but you know I've been using ricotta for ages I'm Italian so ricotta is you know part of my diet so yeah so what's going on guys so I'm back with the last meal of the day bit of a change of scenery chilling with the grandparents as you can see over there but yeah every Sunday I decide to stay here so I'm gonna finish off tonight's macros so in the pan here I've got 500 grams of lean pork I haven't had pork in so long so time to change the taste up a little bit I brought down my little so I brought all I carried this all down home with me so in here I've got 300 grams of mixed vegetables I've got my uh, vegetable noodles so the low calorie ones and I brought the rest of this Frank's Red Hot so I'm gonna whip all that up together and I'll show you what the final product looks like so stay tuned and that's the final meal of the day guys so that's gonna completely wrap up the macros and that's it guys so like I said you know it may not be you know a humongous amount of macros that I had to do today or eat today but you know I may do with the macros and as you saw plenty of variety fruits vegetables fiber you know and that's a large meal for dinner it's roughly 7 30 p.m. and I'm going to bed pretty full so you know it's gonna get harder as it goes but I make do with the macros and you know eat high volume foods like this so guys let me know if you like these style of videos I know they're quite long you know I'll try and keep it fresh and mix it up for you guys so you know let me know give me some feedback thank you guys as always for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see all you awesome people in the next video take care